Hello everybody and welcome to Erafros Phobos, created by DN2 Raphael and recommended by Cyanide the Fox. Technically half recommended by Cyanide the Fox because technically they recommended a different map. I've played it, it's awesome, but it's not at all port uh, This one sort of also claims to not be particularly port but it does appear to at least contain some sort of puzzles and looks suitably Friday weird. Right, now that's out the way, we all saw the warning, but that warning can't stop me because I can't read. Don't touch the red lights. Which means immediately we have to go ahead and try and touch the red lights. The, 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 the red light stings. The red light stings quite a lot. Is that like any bit of red light? It's any bit of red light. Just any slight hint of red light. Okay, so in this particular map, the ominous red glow has taken a more sinister turn and is a hell of a lot more aggressive. I mean, doesn't appear to want to kill me. It just really, really, really stinks. Okay, so noted. Don't, don't touch the red light. Um, about that bit of red light. Uh, I can't jump. Okay, jumping is disabled in this one. Uh, we do have a very plush armchair and a giant look over here, you idiot indicator arrow, indicating we should look at this screwdriver. Is that a screwdriver for me? I have a screwdriver now. Okay, I, I'd rather have a portal gun, but uh, yes, not particularly portal -y. This is clearly for that, right? Yeah, of course it is. I've lost my screwdriver now, so we don't even have any slight weapon as we enter yet another bloody air vent in a weird portal map. Again, not particularly portal -y, but air vents do seem to be a staple of these weird ones, don't they? Um, does that open up for me? Do I have to do something with you? No, you just drop out of the way entirely into a giant well-lit air shaft. Fine, I'll squeeze down through. Danger, contaminated area with a, a wooden door. Yes, of course, plywood being well known for its radiation blocking properties. And we now have like a rather moss-filled corridor and a moss-filled corridor again with the red lights that we're supposed to be wary of in a rather maze light. What the hell is that? Oh, it's a skeleton. I was I was seeing something way, way different from back here. Uh, life advice. In moments of difficulty, you can crouch your way to its success. Crouch being quite capitalized there. So you want me to crouch, right? Because if we try to go through here, yeah, the red lights, the red lights remain dodgy as fuck. Okay, so crouch. Okay, and navigate the maze. That shouldn't be too difficult. You reset me back to the start every time, don't you? Okay, we'll have to be a little bit more careful around here. Sorry, buddy. Around there, nope, okay, yep. I feel like that was miles away from the red line of death, but uh, technically it's just a red light of stinging. So over you, right up to the wall, okay. And then where was it? It was here that I got screwed somewhere, right? And the corner this way and around there. Yeah, okay, that wasn't too, too difficult. Uh, there's a lot more red in here though, as we've entered the traffic light room, right? The traffic light room meets Minecraft room. Why is this starting to feel like Minecraft meets a saw puzzle house? Hmm, okay, fine. So don't touch the red. We'll wait for it to cycle back around and then stop in the middle quite happily. That was miles away. I was nowhere near the red. I was quite clearly in the safe middle zone. Okay, fine. We'll go again then. Cycle around. Blue is nice and safe. Stop here. No, look, look, that's, that's a big hitbox on that red. We'll do it again then, fine. Wait for the blue of safety and go and stop here. Yeah, see, directly in the middle, directly safe. Okay, wait for it to cycle. Being lazy, wait for it to cycle again. Now, cool, danger, laser beam, you open up and yeah, that that is very laser beamy. I'm guessing those are also rather stingy. At least things don't appear to kill you for once. They just sort of reset your progress. Oh, hey, that was nowhere near. I was miles away from that. I was trying to admire the rug. Uh, so it's one of those follow it ones, right? And go again. And we should be fine. Yeah, there's some more up the nice oak staircase. Those appear to be a slightly different offset. And follow it to the doors. Is that all we're doing? Is it still there? It's still there. It doesn't come this far. No, it doesn't. I'm I'm drawn to you. Oh, a switch. Oh, I should have done you. Okay, cool. Don't don't push me into the beams, please into another bizarrely textured corridor. You sounded like you just unlocked. Into, well, that's rather portal-y, isn't it? We've all seen that giant gate before. 
Uh, company time, your time current. Power control room, cables connecting to the giant door. Yeah, what is it with doors slamming shut behind you in this game? Weird or not, they like to lock you in everything, don't they? So we can get up to here, where we have a giant, very portally button, which does a warning sign. But not a great deal else, because we probably need to do something in the power control room, yeah? No, are you going to open up? What was in the power control room then? I like this animation, so I'm going to stop and watch it. D did I not need to do something in the power control room? Uh, you've locked my view so that we can look at a red lit elevator. That's probably not something we want to get on, given the uh, current history with this map. So, so do I go on that? I go on that, clearly, but what's, what's in the power control room? It's sparking for my attention. I feel like I should have gone here first. In the event of power outage, do not panic. No, just stand in the dark. Fine. Oh, hold on. Do you... What do you do? So was I supposed to have done something there? There was a red... Oh, I can turn the red light on and off because... Yes, the red light is still very bad in here. Okay, flick you back off. There's something in here I'm supposed to do. I probably should have looked whilst it was lit. Uh, hey, 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 I'm just trying to look. There's something mounted to the wall in there, isn't there? So I flick it to darkness and then just spam E over here. I did something. The sparking stopped. Generally, you don't want electronic sparking, so that's probably a good thing. And up here, yeah, right? So actually get onto the bit of catwalk and go and ride the ominous, but no longer deadly, red-lit elevator. Uh, what does that say? Kel... 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 something co... because quality. Sure. Sure. Aperture's rivals, perhaps. Yeah, I can't make it out from here without falling off, can I? Alright, so where are you taking me now? That's not the end, is it? There's... there's more? There's more you can never tell with a weird map. Sometimes they end rather abruptly. There's hints of light in the distance. We've arrived... Somewhere. Shot? No? Okay, never mind. That's that's not for now. <laughs> yeah, the elevators in this game, never trustworthy, are they? Right, we've uh, smashed down into... What is it? Kelco, because we are quality. Yeah, I feel like Aperture wouldn't stand for that as a rival. Um... So we came from. More hints of the stinging red. What am I supposed to be looking at in here then? There's a big switch and another weird plywood door. Let's flick you. Ah, of course. Of course. There's more light-based puzzles. Exit there on the wall where we do seem to have a safety path going to. So fine, I'll follow you. And you go this way. You take me to this door. And get to the door and we spam E. No, we, we get teleported back, looking completely the wrong way for some reason. Okay. Did I not spam the door quick enough? Or the path does appear to go all the way to the other end, so maybe that first? I am going to try this door again, though. It has a handle. If it has a handle, I am inclined to... No, we can't do anything with that. Fine. If it has a handle, I'm inclined to jiggle it. Oh, you're going more this way. And there, and there. Okay, and we get across. Fine. You open up. Well, that doesn't look ominous in the slightest. Sure. Press you. You make a no-no noise, but you did open up something over here. We've got two more switches. Again, don't quite trust anything with these style of maps. Uh, you? No? You? No? What do, what do you do? You make no-no noises. Am I supposed to input something? Do I jiggle this again? You made another noise. What did I do? These are no longer interactable. And you make a noise that did open up things, but sounds very much like a no noise you're off. Okay, you made this room a lot safer and revealed a lovely hardwood oak flooring. Uh, you're lit up though, aren't you? So now this handle is jiggleable and takes us to another elevator. An elevator that's very, very familiar. And I think we all know why. Right, it's automatic. Yeah, we've all been in this one before, haven't we? Um, where are we going now? 
This area has a few red lights, but... 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 Cake! It's actually cake in here! Three, oh, I hope you enjoy the cake. So, yeah, okay then, um, another rather abrupt ending to a suitably weird Friday map. That was Erafros Phobos giving us a genuine reason to fear the red, created by DN2 Raphael. So a very big thank you to DN2 Raphael. Uh, yeah, like I say, not particularly port -orly, but uh, there was cake, but I still don't feel like we uh, ever got any. Thank you very much for watching. Catch you later.